Istanbul, at least for me, is not just uh, another city like other cities. Istanbul is a very special place, especially because of uh, this mixture of um, East and West. So when you talk about music, it made it even more special because in Istanbul you can find musicians that maybe you cannot find so easily in other places. I start uh, to make music in the street when I arrived to Istanbul. I realized that, especially here, it's work pretty well. There is one uh, special street, it's called Istiklal Street. It's very crowded, there is more than two million people passing there. And there is many musicians who play in this street. We decided to play there and I started to sing and after uh, two seconds maybe, we had this uh, huge crowd of people. Going home, going back from work, nobody look in the eyes, nobody smile. And the moment you put music or any kind of art in the street, it makes people to stop for a moment. and she sings, she dances, she plays, and it's really, really nice. So powerful, no? Like this first time I visited Istanbul, and we just were passing by, and she, said, and she heard her from, from like far, and she said, ah, let's go, and I, I just followed her, and, and really, I arrived, and I felt like, oof, yeah. So many people come to me and they say to me, I don't understand uh, a word from uh, what you are singing, but I feel it very well. So I think in, in music and in art, there is a different kind of language. So it doesn't matter where you are from. traveling before I, I arrived to Istanbul. I travel uh, in India and I travel through the Balkans. There I, I met uh, Julian. We are, um, we are a couple. And when we arrived to Istanbul, after uh, one week, maybe very fast, we, we got to know uh, Mete. He played the Santur. He was playing in the street also. And right away when we hear him, we had this connection and then we asked him, Hey, can we play together? Can we make one song? And he said, okay. And it was great. And since then, we are together. Istanbul çok da yani dünyada iddialı konuşabilirim. Dünyada önemli noktalardan bir tanesi İstanbul. 
Çünkü birçok kültürü içinde barındırıyor. O yüzden de insanlarla birleşme amacındaysanız eğer burada birçok şeyi farklı şansı yakalayabilirsiniz. Çok iddialı, iyi düşünen müzisyenler, sanatçılar vardır burada. Evet, çok bilinmezler. Kenarda köşede dururlar ama keşfetmeniz gerekir. İyilerdir. On est, on, est, on est vraiment une attraction euh, touristique de la ville d'Istanbul. Il y a des gens qui y a des touristes qui vont venir dans la ville d'Istanbul et puis euh, quand ils vont repartir, ils vont se souvenir d'Istanbul. Euh, avec euh, peut-être ils vont acheter notre CD. Ça arrive souvent qu'ils vont acheter notre CD et puis ils vont écouter le CD et puis on, euh, ils vont se souvenir de, des vacances qu'ils ont ici. From music in the street, it's not easy thing, but at the moment it's possible. It's not uh, directly from making the music in the street; it's from selling our album. And when people see you in perform live, this is the thing who touch them. So they buy our CD, and by that they help us to make this possible to make more music and to live and to have a flat and to eat. At the moment, if we don't sell this and if we don't promote ourselves in the street, it will be difficult for us to live independently. I was born in Tel Aviv. I was born to Iranian family. My parents, they moved from Iran to Israel during the Islamic Revolution in Iran. It put me in a very interesting position. Because in one hand, um, like in school, they say to my parents, don't speak with your children Farsi. They are Israeli now. Iran is the enemy. Forget about Iran. You cannot go back now. You are in Israel now. But on the other hand, my parents are Iranian. Like Iranian, they are very proud of their culture and very attached. So it's put me in a very uh, strange position. Where is my home? Turkey, it's a little bit like my home because Istanbul have this modern and this new stuff, but in the same time it have this East and tradition. So I felt very comfortable here to be who I am. And when we play in the street, uh, some people they come to me and they ask me, "Where are you from?" And in Istanbul I can say, "I'm from Israel and I'm from Iran." And somehow. It will make sense. My parents, it's, it's a bit difficult for them. They do support because they just want me to be happy. But they don't listen to my music. They just more care that I, I have enough money and, and I have a place and I have something to eat and, and I'm happy. My father he really wants that I will have a good job and a good apartment. I also understand his fear, you know, and 
I just hope, I wish that one day I can show them that, that I can live also respectfully with, with music. You know, one band come in, they just sit everywhere and they play and there is a lot of people. But the street is very, first of all, it's very noisy. You play in the street and then there is this uh, machine of cleaning the street passing and it's so noisy, you cannot play anything when it passes. And then there is the tram passing and people talking and people asking questions. And then there is another band and they just come play just in front of you and you cannot play. And you need to find a spot that is not bothering the other shop around. And it's not so easy. Here. I cannot stand here. I want to go to our, some place where there is no noise, where it's shining. But always when I go somewhere, we go to Europe, we go somewhere, uh, we miss. And every time I have this great feeling to ba come back. Light in Babylon already four years, and each year look different. People saw us in the street, oh wow, come to my cafe, come to my bar, and then more people know about you, and more people speak about you. Ah oh, yeah, there is this band, and they play in the street, and, and then it's like step by step by step by step, we build ourselves.
it's our last concert for the season. It's gonna be a really nice party. And uh, we chose this place because it's more, more, we will feel more comfortable here. And even that it's small, but it's really nice atmosphere and it's alternative people. And uh, yeah, I'm, re I'm really looking forward to it. We have uh, one drummer who joins us and a bass player. The music that we are making, the composition, uh, I can say it's kind of a collaboration of three of us. Usually, Julian is responsible for some of the arrangement and the chords, and I'm responsible to arrangement of the lyrics and the words, and Mete to the solo of the Santur. So a song is something that the three of us develop. We are traveling a lot, so many of our songs talk about this um, question of where you belong to and the connection from uh, a person to his culture. Most of the lyrics in the songs are written by me. The songs are very personal. We have one song called The Woman of Tehran, who talk about uh, my family and my roots in Iran and the memory and that I cannot go there. And actually I have a dream that one day I will be able to do what I'm doing um, in Turkey, what I'm doing in Europe. I will be able to do it also in Iran, um, in the heart of Tehran. And, and I will sing, I will sing with this woman. <laughs> Actually, people all the time ask me about politics because already being Israeli-Iranian, it's a politics thing. Already living in Turkey with all what happened here, especially in the last months, become a political thing. But the reason I'm making music is not for changing the world or tell other people what to do or how to think or how to live. We are just making our own world, our own music, and we share it. I don't feel forced to make music in the street. 
as I, I'm not forced to make music. Everything I do, I take full responsibility of it. I chose it. But yes, it's a hard job. Everything we do with our own hands. We don't have a manager, we don't have any special connection. And our music is not finishing in playing in the street. We go, we play two hours and coming back and that's it. No, it's like 24 hours. It's sending mail and it's talk to people and it's arranging a concert and it's to be active in the net. And uh, yeah, maybe one day it will be easier. My biggest fear is that we will stay in the same step. Because I'm a person who likes to develop, who likes to change, who likes to listen to his heart. And um, I cannot imagine myself staying in the same position all the time. That's why, um, that's why the street fits for us, because the street is a temporary place. It's changed all the time, and we are changing all the time. But we cannot stay there forever, because the street is changing, so we must to change also. J'apprécie parce que c'est déjà ma maison, quoi. C'est l'endroit où je vis, on a notre appart et, euh, et euh, la vie est pas chère en Turquie. Mais d'un autre côté, ouais, c est, c est, ça fait longtemps qu'on qu attend ce moment où on, peut, on pourrait être indépendant de jouer dans la rue. Et ouais, enfin, c'est Istanbul, c'est chaotique, quoi. C'est super chaotique. Euh, d'un autre côté, on est là, on apprécie toute l'énergie que ça donne. Et là, de l'autre côté, ça. ça euh, ça donne énormément de stress. <rire> that uh, one day with the time, because we cannot play forever in the street, so I hope that one day we can do this promotion uh, on stage, on concerts, and in many, many places, not only in Istiklal Street, not only in Istanbul. It's happening already. We have concerts in, in Germany and Switzerland and in Hungary and all kinds of places, but uh, still it's not enough. And I hope with the time it will be enough. This is actually my dream. If I would not uh, fully believe in my dream, I would quit everything. I will go to learn uh, to law. I will go to law school, and uh, maybe I will even enjoy it a little, and I will have this normal, comfortable life. But I cannot do it, if, even if I want to. 